Okay, so where are we at now? We're in downtown Atlanta. We're riding the Sky View, and it is Father's Day. And you can, from this point of way, you can see all the museums, and you can see a lot of the great buildings, a lot of historical places, uh, riding the Sky View. Come on down. I'm sorry, they probably heard that too. CNN building where CNN is. You got Centennial Park. You have the Coca-Cola Museum. You have the Atlanta Aquarium where the whale sharks are. You have the Civil Rights uh, Museum. Uh, you have, of course, all of downtown Atlanta with its amazing architecture. Um, they have new street cars to ride. It's an awesome place to be awesome things to do. Well, in case you guys were wondering, those are my parents, so believe it or not. Um, just, this is one of the big highlights out here. One of the big highlights of the trip I told you guys how it was going on. Um, now, what was this? The sky wheel, you said? This is the sky wheel, yes. In case you guys hear that little talking up up here, they have a very quiet announcer, which probably they should fix by now. In case you Skywheel people are watching. There's also the College Football Hall of Fame right here. The reason they call that Centennial Park is because a few years ago, uh, Georgia hosted uh, the uh, Centennial Games. And this is all part of the area where they had the games and had a lot of the ceremony and they turned it into a big park. See the aquarium over there, Blake? Yeah. You can see the top, the huge area, is where the whale sharks are. That tall building to the right, I can't really zoom in, but that's the Coca-Cola main office building. The no, that's the main building. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Right below that, so down that, down that the way is is where the museum is. Yes. Over here is where the office buildings are. Yes. This is where we got the tickets. Where we go in and out of said cars. Um, looks like we're going around one more time. But so, since we basically got everything to see on here, um, any last words from either of you? I got to ride free. It's Father's Day. <laughs> Where else did you go today? Uh, I don't know. We went to Buckhead Church no, we and Buckhead heard Andy Church. Stanley preach. What was the name of the restaurant? It was. And then we went to. Had uh, wings and waffles. No, we went to Bantam and Biddy at the Linux Mall and, and had. Wings and waffles. Yeah, chicken and waffles. And I got to go to the Tesla dealership and see one of my favorite cars. Mm -hmm. And next we're going to the Atlanta Botanical Gardens because they have. Glass. Glass. What is what is um Cthulhu Cthulhu glass. glass? He is a famous glass sculpture, and he has a huge display at the Atlanta Botanical Gardens. And tonight they put lights on it. And it's absolutely beautiful. His work is all over the world, and the uh, when we were in the Atlantis. In the Bahamas, they had two or three of his it's glass chandeliers and their sculptures. Chandelier sculptures in there, uh, very beautiful. But he's he's known worldwide. And then they have another one that we saw in Oklahoma, and they have several of his pieces in their museum downtown. Isn't he half blind? Is it that the same guy? Isn't he blind in one eye? I think so. If that's the same, sure. I think it is. If you guys know, please. Did you show them the Olympic circles that you can see in the fountain with the kids playing down in the Olympic 
square down there. Should be right there. Oh, look, there's Alex and Aaron. (laughs) And the streetcar is new, uh, and it really works like an old streetcar with tracks and the electric connection on the poles. And notice the solar panels down on the parking lot next to the sky wheel. You have uh, seven large solar panels. I'm not sure what they power, but... Well, there are lights underneath it. Potentially, they could light those. Yeah, but that's a lot more power than his lights need. Is, yeah. Is that the mountain? Is that Stone Mountain in the distance? Most, yeah. most likely. Okay, I think that's enough for this video, so... If you guys have any information on the glass artist, if he's the one that's half blind or not, post in the comments below and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye!